Hello guys, Pavel Oskarov with you again and time for another demo project. In this demo project I will show you three things. First thing, Laravel notification system with driver called database. Then event and listener system, how to catch the event of someone registering. And then some bootstrap and JavaScript tricks to show and hide some stuff. So first, demo. Uh, default Laravel registration. And if I fill something in, uh, how can I catch the event of someone registering and then notify the administrator, but not by email, but with a database system. So if I log out and log in as admin, I would get internal notification like this one. So someone has registered and I can mark that as red. And this is a demo. Now let's dive into the code and let's see how it works. So you probably know Laravel notification system. It's not even a function, it's a whole ecosystem of notifications with different drivers. So most simple example is you send an email on some event. So you do mail message, add some line, and then someone receives something like this, like a simple email. Also, you can define SMS message and there are other drivers. But one of the drivers is the database driver which doesn't actually send anything to anywhere. It just logs the notification in the database and then you can use it however you want. In our case, we will show the notifications for admins. First, we need to launch artisan command notifications table, which would generate this migration notifications table. It uses polymorphic relationships, but it's fine. You don't have to actually know that. Uh, and then you run artisan migrate to receive that table. And inside of it, I will show you you would have something like this. So the example in my demo just seconds ago or minutes ago, it would save like this. So all the notification data would receive like name and email. It's a JSON and then it would be a type of notification and who is actually notified. So user with ID one in our case. Now, how do we fire that notification? On registration, first actually topic number one, events and listeners. So whenever someone registers, we need to fire an event of sending the notification and that you can do by listening to the event of registered. If you go to registers user trait, which is inside of Laravel core, you have this. So whenever someone actually registers, this event is fired and then you can listen to it by going to event service provider. And by default, there is already, already one event happening. Uh, send email verification notification, which is Laravel core. And we add another one, send new user notification, which is not actually a notification, it's a listener class. So inside of app listeners folder, we actually, behind the scenes, I've launched PHP Artisan make listener, uh, and that is a listener code. So it will be fired automatically whenever someone registers. And inside of that notification, we will fire the actual notification. So new user notification is actually notification class generated by make notification artisan command. So we just send notification to admins, whoever is the admin. In our case, it's just users with role ID one. And we fire that notification. Inside of that notification class, we pass the parameter of user. And that user is not the admin. That is the user who registered. So we pass that here inside of event user. So event user would be the object who registers. And then we pass that into constructor. So that becomes private variable of this class. And then we can use it here. And notice that we return database driver. So it's not mail, it's not SMS, it's not anything other, it's database. And then we need to define two array function. What would be the array which would land inside of this structure inside of data in the database? So we just define name is username, email is user email, and that's it. That is exactly, so basically we can define any structure you want, any notification data uh, array or structure. It can be multiple layers, it can be multi-dimension or anything you want, but you, you can define it here in two array. And basically that's it, how you store the database notification. Now, next step, how do we show the notifications? They are in the database now. So how do we show this? I'm logged in as an admin and behind the scenes I've registered a few more users. So how do we show the notifications? It's very simple. We don't even need to access the database. So inside of our controller, we have auth user and red notifications. And if you go to Laravel documentation, accessing the notifications, you have two ways, basically user notifications or user unread notifications, which means that it hasn't been read yet. 
And how is it defined in the database? If you can see, so I refresh the page, the table. Here's a column red add. Basically, it, it works the same as soft deletes deleted add. If it's null, it means that it hasn't been read or it contains the timestamp of when it was read. And that's exactly what we will use for this link. So final thing what I want to show you in this demo is if we click mark as read, it will fire an Ajax request to this controller. To this controller. Mark notification will be looping through all the unread notifications with IDs passed or with one ID. So we have two things, mark as read for one notification, which would pass the ID, or we have mark all as read, which just will set all the notifications to read now. So if we click this, it will disappear. And that's some JavaScript thing. So in home blade file in the view, we have, of course, if it's admin, then we have notifications shown. And this is a link to mark as read for one or for others, uh, for all. And then there's mark as read or mark all class or ID. And here's some JavaScript. So it's just a method to send Ajax call with ID or send the call without ID. So send mark request with ID, which can be null. It's kind of a simple JavaScript without too much logic. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Maybe this one is interesting. So remove the parent or remove all of div alerts on the page. And basically that's it. That's what I wanted to show you in this video. So to recap, to listen to the event of registration, you have event registered event. Then to use the database notification, you just use notifications driver, and then you can mark them as read with uh, using unread notifications or filling in read at database column. Hope it was helpful. If you have any ideas for more videos, shoot in the comment. Uh, the code for this project will be available on GitHub, or in fact, it is already available. The link is down below the video, and see you guys in other videos.